Hi, I'm Matt with Top Left. I'm going to teach you how to make API keys for your user account in ConnectWise. So you might need to do this if you have a third party tool that integrates with your ConnectWise and you want to allow that tool to make changes as if those changes were coming from you, as if you were making those changes yourself in the ConnectWise application. Um, <clears throat> that can have benefits for uh, how those changes appear in the ConnectWise audit trail and time entries and uh, notes that are made. And, and things like that. So uh, obviously, since this is uh, the tool is going to be making changes as if it was you, you want to only do this for tools that you trust. Uh, the good news is that this is easy, and it will only take a minute. So from the ConnectWise home screen here, find your username in the top right corner, click your name, and then click My Account. Here you go. Uh, click on the API keys tab. This is going to give you a list of any existing API keys that you have. Uh, we'll click plus here to make a new one. You're going to give the keys a description. So if you're using a top left, call it top left Kanban boards, maybe uh, something that's going to remind you why you did this. And then click save here. And then you're going to get your two keys. One is the public part and then one is the private key. So the public one is not security sensitive. Um, there, there shouldn't be a reason to um, publicize it. Um, but if you do, it's not a problem. Private key though, that's kind of like the password that needs to be kept secret. And as you can see in this note here, uh, we're not going to see this again. ConnectWise isn't going to show it to us again. So you want to put this right into your application that's asking for it. It's going to need both the public key and the private key part. And uh, so put those right into your application right now, and uh, then you can go back. It's going to show you it to you again. Make sure you see it. Click OK. That's it, and you're done. Uh, these instructions are specifically for uh, top left Kanban boards for ConnectWise, but they'll work for any other application that needs uh, user API keys in uh, for ConnectWise. Uh, now, if you are using ConnectWise and you're not, maybe you find yourself kind of confused or um, unsure about the how your workflows are going, like what tickets you have and what projects you have and, and what things are getting neglected, then I suggest you try out top left Kanban boards. They're very useful for uh, helping you visualize your work and understand what's going on in your service and your project work. Thanks for watching.